idea of bringing the IBM Watson case competition to the University of Maryland came about as a natural course of conversations that I have with the senior associate dean, Michael Ball, as well as the faculty here. I think it's really critical that our students today learn about big data and cognitive ability, especially what technology enables, because it's not only shaping what we're seeing in the marketplace today, but frankly, it's changing the way in which businesses and companies are thinking about the future of technology and the role of their organizations. The Watson Case Competition made me curious about what kinds of things Watson would be capable of and how students with that kind of curiosity would be able to apply creativity to solve those problems. And it got me thinking that Watson is really a way to fuel curiosity and to see how all of this data that we are growing and increasing can be used to get answers to that curiosity and to fuel it further. IBM is really keen on partnering with universities and we're really proud of our relationship with the University of Maryland. The Quest program that the Smith School has is the perfect venue for developing the kind of skills we feel that are needed in the marketplace. So the idea of a Watson case competition was just a perfect fit for the Quest program. We bring together students from the colleges of business, engineering, and computer, mathematical, and natural sciences. And what we found is that it gives students the opportunity to experience teams more like what they'll get in the real world. So it's not going to be mechanical engineering students working together in isolation from supply chain or marketing majors. These students are all going to be working together to solve challenges. So by giving them the opportunity as undergraduates, we're really helping to prepare them for what's to come. What our students have been able to do is to go ahead and give some suggestions to a talented team from IBM, but also learn a lot themselves and how they can think about technology and actually apply it to markets and industries. Not only have their ideas been great, but frankly, some of the things that they've thought about and considered, but ultimately didn't make it to the final presentation, are also very compelling cases. In some ways, I wish we had more time to go ahead and expand on all these ideas, but I think the ideas that they ultimately came up with really resonate this was a lot of work in one weekend. So I think as a team they learned how to decompose the different uh, modules that they had to do. They, they brought them all together and then they presented cohesively. Those were some of the best oral sessions I've really seen in quite some time. And to be done by undergraduate students is very impressive in a cutting edge field. Opportunities like these case competitions are a very effective way for students to learn these new skills um, because it allows them a chance to take what they learn in the classroom and really take it to the next level. Uh, presenting to professionals working in the real world gives them an opportunity to be judged against the criteria that those professionals would use in their day-to-day -day lives in a way that they may not have the opportunity to in the classroom setting. We love the idea of working together on teams and having only a couple hours to produce a deliverable um, that would be seen by executives and, and really cool um, technologies. Watson is, is one of the coolest things to come out in the last couple decades. So. We're very excited to work with them. They had to have not only the analytical skills, but the ability to communicate their idea and persuade an audience to invest in it. So it's perfect setting and all those skills are needed. When I think about what makes a great student and what makes that student attractive to a corporate entity in the workplace, while it's really important them for them to know a lot of the skills, they can be valuable from day one, What's really important for them is to, again, acquire new knowledge so that they can go ahead and adapt their skill set to meet the business challenges, not of today, but the challenges that they need to anticipate going forward.